hell is microphone working or not? Let me see. Is this microphone? Is this microphone working? Is this microphone working? Is this microphone working? Is this microphone working? I don't know. Anyway, man, today we're going to continue our series on SARMs, different type of SARMs, best way to use them, base it down to kind of break down what to expect, the dosages, side effects, and, you know, the ins and outs of getting here, them his gangs. Now, before I go any farther, whatever I say here is strilly. Strilly is not a word. It's totally made up, not the truth. So if you're not testing with a rat, if you're not in the chemically enhanced research chemical laboratory, it ain't for you. But if you're testing and it ain't for human consumption, listen up. Anyway, LGD4033, PPR modulators, and GH segregals. Uh, what I'm trying to say is LGD4033 is the go-to if you want to get big, if you want to put on size, if you want striations. It's the godfather of SARMs. It's 12 times more powerful than oxygen. It can be suppressive. What I mean by suppressive is, is that when you take LGD4033, it drops down your natural reproduction of tests just a little bit. So if it used to be hard like this, it might be like this. So what does that mean is you run it six weeks, then you take a CIRM. What's the CIRM selector? Estrogen receptor modulator with a post cycle, slight post cycle, about four or five weeks, you're back up to being strong, you're knocking out the panties. That's all I'm saying. All right. Now with that said, I have to talk, I have to talk. I have to talk in riddle, otherwise YouTube's going to flag my video once again. They already took 10,000 subs from me. I'm getting back up to 1,300. But I got to bring you the truth. I got to bring you the truth about SARMs because there's so many bullshit. Rokey Duke, Rookie Duke, Pookie Duke videos out here. Everybody named Mama's a, a SARM expert. And I'm telling you, take it from someone who's been doing this since 19. Because I'm an old motherfucker who has experience, who has hundreds of clients, and we sell literally thousands of bottles a year of this stuff, of the cleanest stuff you can get. That's NewRace.com and NSAFLEEK. With that said, where you can use oxygen, which is a different SARM for cutting, LGD has proven itself to be a great bulking agent. LGD has half-life, ranging between 24 and 36 hours, 36 hours on a dose. So that means you don't necessarily should have to take it daily, but you should. If you take it, say, today at 9 o'clock, you can take another one tomorrow at 9 o'clock. It's every day, all right? If you forget a day and you happen to go two days, it's all right, because it has a long little half-life, which means it stays in your system. But over a period of time, it stays in your system. The posts start to decrease, so you want to try to maintain that stability and that consistency. If you take it at 3 o'clock today, take it at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Maintain that flat line. Get them motherfucking gains, player. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. In studies, it performed at Boston University. All right. This stuff was remarkable, man. Right. <sighs> what, what am I talking about? Oh. All right. Healthy men who were giving one milligram of LGD daily gained three pounds in three weeks on average of muscle. That's one milligram a day. In three weeks, three pounds of muscle. All right. It had positive or little or no side effects or results on the liver functionality, the PSA, the prostate issue functions. Everything was tested normal. All right. Testing the ratio of the red blood count, total red blood count, EKG test, heart rhythm, and continuous thinking was all baseline. So they saw little or no change in the physical or the mental or the hormonal makeup of the test rabbit on taking one milligram a day over three weeks gaining three pounds of muscle. Now with that said, that's a very low dose. So we can effectively double that or triple that and get the same type of gains with little or no side effects. However, there is a potential high estrogen side effect when using LGD. In other words, it is so antibiotic that when it gets in your system, start kicking in over a period of time, it can stimulate and raise your test levels, pseudo test levels to a certain high that when you drop off of it, there is a rebound that can happen because if your test is here, your estrogen here, you don't want that rebound. That's why we got to take, and it's highly recommended that you do a post-cycle therapy on 
any SARM just to be safe. It's kind of like wearing your seatbelt, but on LGD especially. If you own LGD for six weeks, time on, time off. Try to do six-week PCT. If not, at least do a three-week. Something mild, something over-the-counter. You know, you can you can get uh, your test up from Neuroids.com. Some You don't have to go to the Clomad and stuff, even though it doesn't hurt, but you don't have to be really severe with your PCT. You just want to help out and do something to try to limit or an inhibitor to limit that estrogen that could possibly spike from taking LGD. Now, with that said, normal cycle should run between six and eight weeks normal doses should be between 10 and 15 milligrams after an eight week cycle 10 15 milligrams with a 210 pound male you can expect to put on easily 10 to 12 pounds of muscle and at 10 to 12 pounds of muscle you can easily maintain a good seven to eight pounds of it a lot of it is water because we put on size you put on water right this is a great go between or bridge for you cats out there that's on that real shit. You're kicking that wind straw, you're kicking that D ball, you're kicking that good stuff. In between cycles, as you know that if you're on gear, in between cycles you tend to lose. LGD is a great, great bridge to help you maintain that gains in between cycles. Not only that is what you're going to know. Now, how you know the LGD is working? Well, check this out. Within the first two, three weeks, you'll be repping. Say you should do 10 sets of 20 pound biceps, right? When you start knowing that your third and your fourth rep is feeling like your 10th rep, you're getting a serious ache and a burn that lets you know that LGD is kicking in. You also might, during the second and third week, get a dull, null kind of feeling in your nutsack, kind of like a toothache, kind of like a dead, dumb, null feeling. It's weird to explain, lets you know that LGD is kicking in. Now, is LGD recommended? Now, if you, you can now... Keep in mind, it's made for putting on mass and size. You can cut on it. It's really hard. you got to be really strict diet. But if you eat at a caloric surplus or a slight surplus, say about 100, 200 calories over maintenance, and you take this for eight weeks, about 10 to 15 milligrams a day, and you work out, you will put on size, muscle, and strength. It's great for conjugate thinking. Just keep in mind with anything you need to do your due diligence and your own research. And you must, not must, but you want to take some type of PCT. With that said, LGD is the big boy to go to. It's what I go to to put on size quickly. Peak Slacks is Ground Mature Muscle Fitness. Hit me at newroids.com. Mature Fit, save you discount, save you money. Mature Muscle Fitness, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. YouTube channel, click subscribe. Coaching's available. Coaching's half price. Website got tank tops. That's all I can say. Remember, go slow, low, and grow. Do your own research. And remember, this shit ain't made for human consumption, but it looks good on you. Peace.